Hello, everyone. Welcome to Eastern Michigan University's School of Nursing BSN YouTube Live video. This video was put together for our BSN graduates. We invite you to participate in the fun and congratulations by using the chat function on the right hand side of this video and the comment section just below this video. You'll have to sign in to YouTube to use these features. I would like to introduce you to our speaker, Dr. Michael Williams, who is the director of EMU's School of Nursing. Congratulations, graduates. Last year, the World Health Organization deemed 2020 to be the year of the nurse and the midwife. And I remember many nurses talking about this is gonna be our year, the year when the world would celebrate with us. Our year, the year of the nurse and the midwife. Well, 2020 hasn't been all celebrations and parties for the year of the nurse, but society has truly seen the value of nurses and all healthcare providers. Last year, no one would have foreseen the global pandemic of COVID-19. But the dedication and the commitment of nurses and nursing students has been nothing less than extraordinary. Thank you for joining the most noblest of professions for those entering the profession. And thank you to those who have been out on the front lines battling this virus. We have indeed been in the spotlights of the profession and we have shown brightly. This virtual commencement is not exactly the way we intended to celebrate you. Thank you for sticking out and completing your degree despite the COVID pandemic. Typically, we would have you come up to this stage. We would introduce you, allow you to thank someone of your choosing, pin you and provide you with a red rose. This year was not to be. You will have this virtual program, but also will receive in the mail a graduation in a box. You'll have your nursing pin, a green and white ribbon, a red silk rose, and a four by six photo frame for you to remember this special occasion. Getting through nursing school is no easy task, even without a global pandemic. So today is a very special day for you. This is a day when all the studying, the hard work, the tears, the fears, the questioning of why you're doing this comes to fruition. Congratulations, and thank you for accepting the challenge we all love, the profession of nursing. I've been at Eastern Michigan University School of Nursing for 23 years. I've seen our programs grow from a traditional BSN program, RN to BSN completion program, and one MSN program. We now have six different ways students can achieve their BSN degree. The traditional program, the second degree program, the two plus two path, the collaborative degree programs with Washtenaw Community College, Henry Ford College, and Monroe Community College, as well as our fully online RN to BSN completion program. Additionally, we've gone from one MSN program to four, the Adult Gerontology Clinical Nurse Specialist Program, the Adult Gerontology Primary Care Nurse Practitioner Program, our MSN in Nursing Ed, and our MSN in Clinical Research Nursing. We also offer graduate certificates in Teaching in Healthcare Systems, Quality Improvement in Healthcare, and post master certificates for CNSs and NPs. Our Doctorate of Nursing Practice program just began a year ago, and we look forward to that program expanding in the future. Thank you for choosing Eastern Michigan University and the School of Nursing, and always consider us when you wanna go back to school. I'd like to acknowledge all of our faculty and instructors who played a part in your success today. The faculty worked tirelessly to improve our curriculum, respond to current health issues, and flex their teaching strategies to assure that you are optimally prepared to be the best nurses, practitioners, educators, scholars, and nurse leaders as possible. Thank you to all of our faculty. I'd also like to thank our departmental staff who, who help students and faculty every day. These are the people who answer your questions, assist with registration, field your complaints, hunt me down, and coordinate everything that makes the School of Nursing run. Thank you to our staff for their hard work and dedication. Lastly, there is a very important group to acknowledge, the spouses, partners, significant others, families, friends, and supporters of our graduates. Without the dedication and support that you've provided our students, our students would struggle even more to get through a very challenging program. Thank you on behalf of your student. A 
few years ago, I discovered, discovered a story tucked away in my paternal grandfather's belongings, and it reminded me of the sacredness with which we should approach our patients and their families. But it also reminded me of the sacredness of every living person, including you. And I find it even more relevant with the COVID-19 pandemic than ever before. It's entitled, I Wish You Enough, and I'd like to share it with you. The story goes, recently I overheard a mother and daughter in the last moments together at the airport. They had announced the departure and standing near the security gate, they hugged and the mother said, I love you and I wish you enough. The daughter replied, mom, our life together has been more than enough. Your love is all I ever needed. I wish you enough too, mom. They kissed and the daughter left and the mother walked over to the window where I was seated. Standing there, I could see she wanted and needed to cry. I tried not to intrude on her privacy, but she said to me, did you ever say goodbye to someone knowing it would be forever? And I said, yes, I have. Forgive me for asking, but why is this a forever goodbye? The woman replied, I am old and she lives so far away. I have challenges ahead. And the reality is her next trip home will be for my funeral. When you were saying goodbye, I heard you say, I wish you enough. May I ask what that means? She began to smile. That's a wish that has been handed down from other generations. My parents used to say it to everyone. She paused a moment and looked up as if she tried to remember in detail and she smiled even more. When we said, I wish you enough, we were wanting the other person to have a life filled with just enough good things to sustain them. Then turning toward me, she shared the following as if she were reciting it from memory. I wish you enough sun to keep your attitude bright no matter how gray the day may appear. I wish you enough rain to appreciate the sun even more. I wish you enough happiness to keep your spirit alive and everlasting. I wish you enough pain so that even the smallest joys in life may appear bigger. I wish you enough gain to satisfy your wanting. I wish you enough loss to appreciate all that you possess. I wish you enough hellos to get you through the final goodbye. She then began to cry and walk away. They say it takes a minute to find a special person, an hour to appreciate them, and a day to love them, but an entire life to forget them. Indeed, we are all sacred. So as you begin your career as a nurse or continue as a nurse with your new credentials, know that we are proud of you and happy for your accomplishments. Congratulations once again, and I wish you abundance in your personal and professional life, but most importantly, I wish you enough. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Associate Dean of the College of Health and Human Services, Dr. Christine Karshan. I'm Christine Karshan, the Associate Dean in the College of Health and Human Services at Eastern Michigan University. Congratulations, graduates. It goes without saying that you successfully completed a very challenging program in unprecedented times. You should all be commended on your resilience, your dedication to your studies, and your willingness to embark on a high demand discipline during a time when your community and your country need you the most. I am not a nurse, so my advice to you this day is coming from someone who has worked in different settings, K through 12 schools, rehabilitation clinics, hospitals, and of course, higher education. First, make as many professional connections as you can. Networking plus resilience equals success. You are going to be an integral member of a healthcare team the best thing you can do for your patients is to learn from everyone and everything around you. Don't be intimidated by your colleagues and superiors. Remember, they were once in your shoes when they began their careers. Leverage their knowledge and experience and find ways to take what worked for them and adapt it to work for you. Second, treat everyone with respect. Life is not easy for anyone. Sometimes you don't see the challenges on the outside, but understand everyone has a story and their journey has many bumps along the way. Third, if you are successful, it is because somewhere, sometime, someone gave you a life or an idea that started you in the right direction. Thank them. Honor them by being that someone to others in your life. And finally, take pride in how far you've come and have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. Never stop your desire to learn. 
It was Benjamin Franklin who wrote, an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Take it from me, he was right. On behalf of our Dean, Dr. Morali Nair, I wish you well. I wish you good health, and I thank you for choosing a career in service and providing care for all in need. Hello, and welcome graduates, family, and friends. Thank you for being here and for sharing in the graduation celebration. I would also like to extend a special thank you to our service men and women for keeping us safe, a broader thank you to community members and service workers, and finally, a thank you to all the frontline healthcare workers who sacrifice much in the provisions of care for us every day. Graduates, you have persevered in a time where you have experienced many firsts. Your instruction and education have mostly been provided in the online virtual world since March of 2020 for more than a year. You are graduating and will enter the workforce amidst a pandemic. Also, you are graduating during the second year in a row that the World Health Organization has recognized the year of the nurse and the nurse midwife. The American Nurses Association has joined the World Health Organization in this recognition to build on the increased visibility of nurses contributions from the previous year. What nurses do matter globally. I am honored to be here speaking for your virtual graduation. Yet, I am saddened that we cannot all be together to recognize each and every one of you in person and to celebrate your accomplishments. You have all worked so very hard over the past few years to earn your Bachelor of Science degree. I am thankful that we can come together virtually to celebrate your graduation and recognize your accomplishments with family and friends. Graduates, you are entering the nursing profession amidst the third and most devastating wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I am certain that I do not need to tell you that your service is in great demand. The nursing workforce needs you. You have had a few short months to think about preparing for the National Council licensure examination and starting a new job. Many of you have already taken the licensure examination and have begun your nursing journey. Wherever you are in your journey, you may be experiencing feelings of uncertainty, increased stress, and possibly fear of the unknown. Yet, know this, you have prepared for this moment for the past several years. You have made sacrifices and you have overcome many obstacles, including the challenge of trying to make connections whilst learning in the online Zoom classroom. You have persevered. I would like to share a few words of encouragement and wisdom. Always remember to listen. Listen to yourself and actively listen to others, for it is in the listening that you will find answers. Strengthen your resolve and fortify your resilience to stress by practicing self-care and self-compassion each and every day. Your self-care is so very important for you and has significant impact on the outcomes of those you care for. Take care of yourself first. Lastly, I would like, to, I would like you to ponder a quote from Jack Cornfield. If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. In closing graduates, please know that you have the support of many moving forward. Go out and take on the healthcare challenges and make a difference. On behalf of Eastern Michigan University School of Nursing faculty and staff, congratulations to each one of you. Be proud of your accomplishments. We are proud of you and excited for you to begin your new nursing careers. Congratulations, graduates, and welcome 
to the healthcare nursing profession. Good evening to my graduating class of 2021, family, friends, and faculty. Thank you all for your support in being here tonight. My name is Maricela Perez, and I would like to thank my graduating class for giving me this opportunity in being the first collaborative student speaker in the program. I am truly honored. Well, what a journey it has been. A journey that was difficult, rare, and one I know we will never forget in our nursing career. Because who can say halfway through their nursing program, a pandemic broke out? Who can say they finished nursing school during a pandemic? We can because we did that. And I am so proud of all of you. But no worries, class. I'll keep this speech short, just like our nursing lectures. Nursing school was more than charting, late night studying, skill checkoffs, early 6 a.m. clinicals, care plans, hours of homework, mental breakdowns, exams, and that sinking feeling in your stomach when you got an email saying exam grades were posted. Nursing school made us grow. Looking back on our first day of nursing school, we were in a room full of strangers nervous of the unknown years ahead of us, but immediately got to work and got overwhelmed. As we took our first exam, we had questions with all the right answers, but we had to choose the best answer. And I know we all figured that out eventually, right? <laughs> we grew to critically think because in our very first lab simulation, our mechanical patient was having a heart attack. <laughs> the stress from that simulation had all of us stunned, but we managed to save that patient. Together, we found a new meaning in dedication, motivation, and hard work as we sacrificed time away from our family, friends, and events we were just unable to attend to because all of our attention went into learning and how to become a nurse, to care for people, to cure the sick, to save a life. We are no longer those strangers in a room together. We are friends who learn valuable lessons from each other. We are friends who made many, many coffee runs for each other. Friends who stayed at the library studying together from open to close. Friends who turned into our second family. Just as we started to get the hang of those late library study nights, learning how to pick that one best answer, finding the flow of waking up early for clinical, the unexpected came. COVID-19 broke out halfway through our nursing program and made nursing school 10 times more difficult if that was even possible. Nursing school went to fully online courses, lectures, clinicals, and we had countless questions but we just rolled with the punches. I worked as a certified nursing assistant in the intensive care unit on the front lines when COVID-19 first exploded, and I'm still working on that same unit today. But it was extremely difficult to juggle working with COVID patients all while trying to focus and pass nursing school. But I know I managed to get through this with the help from all of you. I wasn't the only one working on the front lines. So to all of you that worked during COVID, I am so proud of you for finishing strong today because I know how difficult it was. Together, we managed to pull one another through and be there for each other as we struggled to get through nursing school during a pandemic. COVID-19 took countless events from us in every way we could all possibly think of and we faced many losses. But this pandemic will not take this moment away from us. There's no better time to become a nurse than in the middle of a pandemic. We faced so many obstacles to get to where we are today, and we all need to be so proud of ourselves and celebrate. Look at everything we accomplished. We are adaptable. We are strong. We are nurses. Use this 
as a reminder that you can do anything you set your mind to. We managed to finish this journey together. And although it was crazy, I am glad to have shared it with each and every one of you. And I would like to thank you all in making it so memorable for me, as it has been a privilege in being a part of your nursing journeys. To all of the first generation graduates, such as myself, here's to breaking more generational barriers. And to all of my graduates continuing on your family generation's successful lines, I applaud you and your dedication. And to all of my graduates who did this for themselves, I applaud you for showing your true leadership within yourself. So here's to every late night study session with early 6 a.m. clinicals. Here's to all the coffee we had. And here's to all of us for making it through a pandemic. We couldn't have did this without our support groups. So here's a special thank you to all of our families, friends, and faculty in giving us the endless support we needed to get through this journey. While this pinning ceremony represents the end of nursing school, this is truly a new beginning for each of us, and I am excited to see where nursing will take each one of you. Time flew by in nursing school, and it will continue to do so because that's life. But remember to take a step back every now and then as you put on your nursing uniform and get ready for work. Take a deep breath in, let it out, and be proud of yourself because you are a nurse. So I have one question left for you all. Are you ready to save a life? <laughs> I know I am. Thank you and congrats to my graduating class of 2021. We did it. <laughs> Hello, my name is Frank Schaller. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Nursing at Eastern Michigan University. Today, I have the pleasure to introduce you to our BSN graduates at Eastern Michigan University School of Nursing. Ifer Damala Adeyemur. After graduation, I plan to continue serving my country as a U.S. Army soldier. Later in my career, I hope to further my education by pursuing a master's degree in nursing. Shout out, a big shout out to my wife, family, friends, and most importantly, Allah. I could not have done this with you all. Ulka Ali G. I would like to thank God for all my blessings, for giving me the strength each day, and for all the people in my life who have helped me get through this challenging and beautiful journey. Erica Ann Almas. I accepted my first nursing position on a med surge unit. In the future, I would love to transfer to labor and delivery or NICU and pursue getting my master's to become a nurse practitioner. Lastly, I would like to thank all of my friends and family who supported me during my journey of becoming a nurse through nursing school. Without you all, I would have not made it through this. Samantha L. Badalamente. I will continue to pursue my career in clinical education. I look forward to beginning my graduate journey with MSN preparation. It's almost surreal to be celebrating this accomplishment after a year riddled with unimaginable hurdles. I must give thanks to God for with him, all things are possible. Thank you to my parents who show unwavering support no matter what my endeavor. Thank you to my husband who while in school himself picked up the slack when I needed to focus. Thanks to my boys who think it's cool that mom goes to school. Thank you to my guardian angel who continues to guide me. I'm thankful for my family and friends that offer a supportive call or text and a best friend who is there when I need a break. I'm also thankful for my peers, my preceptor, and an employer that encourages lifelong learning. Thanks to the EMU faculty whose concern for us personally and professionally didn't go unnoticed. Congrats, fellow graduates. Kayla and Brian. I am already a nurse on an orthopedic unit, but I do plan on transferring to the operating room soon. Although I have been thinking about travel nursing lately, I would like to thank my mom, dad, and aunts for always believing in me and supporting me. Rachel Lynn Burr. 
to my parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, boyfriend, friends, and colleagues. I could not have done it without all of your endless love and support. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hunter L. Darrow. I am lucky enough to have been working in the emergency department for the past four months. I am overjoyed with my experience thus far and cannot express how much I love my job. A huge thank you to my clinical classmates who helped me push through this difficult program. I have made amazing friends and without them, I would have struggled immensely. My home support has been equally as important in helping me achieve my dreams. To my husband, Kevin, mom, dad, and sister, thank you for keeping me mentally grounded through this long college career of mine. Love you all. Carolyn Denise Caporosiu. I am a first generation college graduate, currently working on my certificate in addiction studies. I plan to explore the areas of pediatrics and mental health and pursue higher education. I would like to thank my mom, family, friends, and fiance. You all believed in me and supported me every step of the way. You encouraged me and inspired me to reach beyond the stars. Lastly, I would like to thank my dad. Thank you for watching over me. I promise to have good bedside manner. I wish you could be here today. Olivia June Marie Fenton. A huge shout out to everyone who has never let me give up along this crazy journey and kept me pushing through. From my nursing peers to instructors, friends and family, everyone has been so supportive and I can't thank you enough. I love you all, thank you. Jared Flowers, RN to BSN, EMU class of 2021 graduate. Next step is MSN and nursing education. Thank you to all the professors who helped me with this journey. Jasmine Franco Vasquez, thank you to my husband, family, friends, and professors like Denise Harrison and Dr. Valerie Pauley for your continued support and my career development. After working for the Veteran Affairs Healthcare System, I decided to continue to serve those who have served. I will be joining their nurse residency program in July, 2021 as an RNBSM. Melanie Halsey. After graduation, I plan on working in a nursing job. Thank you to my family for supporting me. Duncan Hunter. First and foremost, I would like to thank God for granting me the strength to persevere and accomplish my dreams. I want to also send gratitude and unconditional love to my Aunt Sharon and Uncle Tom, along with my friends, teachers, and my dog, Mick. Thank you for all the continuous love and support. Lastly, to my parents, I hope I made you proud, Mama and Papa. I know you are with me in spirit and are shining down on me from heaven. Thank you for choosing me to be your son. I love you both dearly. As a first generation college student, I plan to pursue my dreams to become a pediatric nurse and continue to make a difference in this world. Diamond Jackson, I would like to thank my support system and God because without you, I would not have made it this far. I will be starting a pediatric nursing position in May and continuing my aspirations of becoming an aesthetic nurse and owning my own medical spa. I'm so excited to start this journey. Thank you. Leslie Jacobs. Current aspirations are to focus on the NCLEX, potentially apply for nursing positions in orthopedics. Thank you to my friends, my family, and my partner for your endless support throughout this program. It means so much. Stacy Coulter. Future plans to continue working in my current position as a labor and delivery nurse. Special thanks to my amazing supportive children and partner who helped make this journey possible. Tiffany Leader. I'm a hospice liaison RN for Covenant VNA Hospice slash Covenant Healthcare in Saginaw, Michigan. I've been serving in this role since March of 2016. My duties include education for patients, families and staff and facilitating admissions for palliative and or hospice services. I feel honored to be in this role. 
I cannot thank my husband, my children, my parents, and the rest of my family and friends enough for your unending support through this journey. Alyssa Marie Licavoli. We did it. I accepted my first nursing position on a med surge floor. In the future, I would like to transfer to a cardiovascular intensive care unit or the emergency department. Thank you to my family and friends for supporting me throughout my nursing school journey. I couldn't have done it without you. Danielle Lockhart. I'm so happy to be done. I'm so thankful to God that I made it through. This was a long road, but we did it. Yay, hooray, class of 2021. I'd like to thank my family and friends for all your love, support, and encouragement. Kimberly Kelly Loringer. I am so thankful that this day is finally here. I have been a nurse for 28 years, and who would have thought my first instructor would be correct when she said, I would need a BSN at some point in my career. I want to thank my daughter for always being there to help me when I was ready to cry because I couldn't figure out how to maneuver the computer. I want to thank my mom and my son for always listening to me whine on my long way home from work about school. I also want to thank my instructors and Elizabeth and the library for always pushing me forward with encouraging words. Most of all, I would like to thank my husband, whose patience, love, and support helped me to arrive at this moment. I love you, John. Brooke McPherson. Thank you to EMU for challenging me to become a remarkable nurse. I will forever be grateful to my support system for supporting me along this entire journey. John Morris. My plans post-graduation are to begin my nursing career at Michigan Medicine. I recently accepted a full-time night position on an adult liver renal unit. However, I plan to move into pediatrics after I get one year of experience of adult medical surgical nursing. I would like to thank my family, friends, and the staff that supported me through my accelerated BSN. Thank you all so very much. And favorite quote, nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. And that's from Calvin Coolidge. Allison Noel. Allison will be attending graduate school at the University of Michigan in the fall to become a family nurse practitioner. Special thanks to her family, husband, and their dog, Frankie, for their endless support. Eileen Pollock. I would like to thank my parents, sister, family, and friends for supporting me throughout this journey. I would also like to thank my grandma and Poppy who helped make this dream a reality. Thank you. Eileen plans to begin her career as a nurse at the bedside. Maricela Perez. Thank you to my family, my mama who listened to every breakdown and supported me endlessly. My dad who always had faith in me with every test I took. My brother, who was there for me day and night whenever I needed him. My sister, who has always been my inspiration. Thank you. I love you. Thank you to my friends, to all my friends that were here throughout this journey. Thank you for keeping me sane. To all my friends I made along the way, I promise I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. So much love for all of you. You know who you are. Ashley Peepsney. After graduation, I am moving to Erie, Pennsylvania and have accepted a position on a neuro stroke unit. I want to thank my friends and family for the continued love and support throughout all the ups and downs throughout nursing school. I love you guys and I couldn't have done this without you. Cassidy Autumn Porter. Plans to work as a nurse on the medical surgical unit at Michigan Medicine after graduation and be a clinical instructor. In the future, get my MSN and work as an aesthetic nurse practitioner in my own clinic. Thank you, mom, Cricket, Grammy, and Papa for always encouraging me on this journey. Amina Rekovic, I am immensely grateful to have embarked on this journey with all my fellow classmates and outstanding professors. 
Although this is the end, the memories we made will last a lifetime. Here's to new beginnings. We did it. Miranda Reed. As a first generation college student, I'm so excited to finally be finishing this journey and be going on to big and beautiful things. I truly am so grateful and thankful for where I am in life right now. I wouldn't be where I am without the amazing love and support from my family, friends, and God. I'm so proud of us all, and I have no doubt we will go on to do great things. Here's to the class of 2021, defying the odds and finishing strong. Beverly Rodriguez. After graduation, I plan on traveling and focusing on myself. I also plan on starting a nurse residency at Children's Hospital. Thank you to everyone who supported me through this journey. Jessica Rosati, thank you to my family, friends, and husband for believing in me, supporting me, and encouraging me. I love you all very much. After graduation, I will apply for my first nursing job. Kira Sohail, all praise is due to the most high. I would like to thank my family and friends for their unwavering love and support throughout this journey. A special thank you to my mother and father for all their sacrifices that have granted me the opportunities and the life that I have today. I am grateful for the knowledge I have gained from my instructors, the friendships that I've created with my peers, and the experiences that I have had throughout this program. I am excited to begin my nursing career and to embrace what the future holds. Kayla Tedajewski. I would like to shout out to my family and friends for their unconditional love and support throughout this journey. Taylor and Nick, what would I do without you? Mom and dad, you watched me get knocked down and without your unwavering encouragement and support for me to chase my dreams, I would not have been able to do just that. I love you. Plans after graduation include working as a RN on a medical progressive care unit at St. Joe's Mercy Hospital in Ann Arbor after graduation and taking some much needed vacation time. Laura Torres Valencia. Muchas gracias to my husband, daughter, family, and friends for their unconditional love and support. I'm very excited to start my new adventure as a nurse. Desiree Ann Trevino. Thank you to my parents, family, and friends who have given me constant support and have been a drive of motivation for me. I love and appreciate you all more than you know. I will continue working at Beaumont Trenton Hospital as a nurse on their progressive care unit with plans to start travel nursing this summer. I also plan to start working on my master's degree in the near future. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey by Michael Josephson. Jessica Troyer. My name is Jessica Troyer. I am so excited to have accomplished my BSN. After graduating, I look forward to expanding my current roles and beginning grad school soon. I want to thank all my family, friends, and faculty. Amy Verkert. I'm going to continue working on the pediatric primary care office I am currently employed at. Later this year, I would like to get a job in a hospital setting. I am interested in working in pediatric oncology. I'm also considering the possibility of going on to a master's program. Thank you to my friends and family for your support. Chair away. I want to thank my family and friends that have supported me throughout the past four years. I am proud to be an ICU nurse at Beaumont Health and support my patients with the knowledge and skill sets I have acquired at EMU. Congratulations to my fellow 2021 nurses. We did it. Jessica Worley. Special thanks to my hubby, Anthony, for being by my side the whole way through nursing school and into my BSN program. I could not have done it without you. Also, a big hug to all my kids for seeing me through this busy time in my life. I hope I'm an inspiration to all of you so that you may know you can accomplish anything you put your mind to at any stage of life. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. 
Jordan Wright. After graduation, I will be focusing on my current role as an RN intern in the Cardiovascular Center OR at Michigan Medicine and studying for my NCLEX. I would like to thank my parents for supporting me, my boyfriend for helping me stay on track and remind me of my goals during these difficult times, my grandparents for supporting me, my Nana and Amy Pollock for being my study buddies throughout all of my classes and a few instructors for always being available to help direct me and being my unofficial mentors. Deanna Gower, Michelle G, Dr. Catherine Houston, Joel Hildebrand and Denise Harrison. All of these people have helped me to be successful in this program and I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you for all your kind words and dedication to my education. And now for the closing remarks. Graduates, we are so proud of you. You're graduating today from the Eastern Michigan University School of Nursing because you now have the right skills and knowledge to become confident nurses who excel at providing safe, effective patient care. Your ability to learn was tested by the need to rapidly transition to online classrooms and navigate uncertain times in your program. Yet, your unwavering passion to learn as best as possible remained. As we recognize 2020 as the year of the nurse, we not only celebrate the nurses battling on the front lines of the COVID-19 crisis, but also you as nursing graduates who have persevered to find ways to continue your learning and blossom into the top notch nursing professionals that you are today. Whether it's being a friendly face during a regular checkup or a hand to hold during a medical emergency, nurses are without a doubt the unsung heroes of the world. Now, perhaps more than ever, the work that nurses do is nothing short of absolutely amazing. Again, congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you. <laughs>